Desiree Stordahl is with us, one of three who collaborated on this fine book, Have the Best Skin of Your Life. Why wouldn't you want the best skin of your life? It's easy. The best skin of your life starts here. Very scientific is this book. Very scientific. You know, we don't just go off willy-nilly information. We really use resources that are peer-reviewed, published research to get to the nitty-gritty of what people need to know. And that's what I found so fascinating because so much of that is clickbait now yeah. on the internet. It's like, yeah. you won't believe how you can get rid of wrinkles here. Well, right. then no. you click on it. We want like, to no. give you information that's actually factual. So we can start with uh, when you should be going through your makeup products. I'm a uh, horrible, horrible are you guilty? Oh my god, my makeup drawer is stuffed with stuff okay. I know I should get rid of, so tell me. So let's start with the number one culprit, and that is mascara. People hang on to mascara for way too long. Number one tip is buy drugstore mascara, because there are such great drugstore mascaras out there, inexpensive, right. and you need to be replacing them about every three months. After that, three months! I know, I know. I thought but I was being good at six months. Even if you okay. think about it, around that four month markers when right. they start to dry out, right. it's just getting gross, and with the eye area, that's one place you really want to play. Don't want to mess so around. Three months for something like a foundation that's in a cream or liquid base. Those generally six to twelve months. Okay. Um, by the way, this is a really great one from Mac. It's their Waterway SPF 30, so you're getting double duty with your uh, sunscreen. sunscreen and your foundation. For something like a lipstick, you can get away with a couple years. You just want to pay attention if it's changed in color, texture, smell, anything like that. Smells a big one. Red flag. Get right. rid of it if it has powder-based products. You can do two to three years, Good. so you're fine on those. For quite not as bad as I thought. No. All right. So for skincare, I want you to pay attention to something that's called the PAO date. That's period after opening. And you can find it right here. There's a little jar icon. It's actually on this? It's actually on this. So you can find it usually on the back of your products. And then, so it's going to have a number and the letter M. So 12M in this case stands for 12 months after you've opened it. It's time to toss it. Now, if you're like me, you can't remember what you had for breakfast yesterday, <laughs> let alone when you opened up a product. So I keep a Sharpie in my bathroom. Yeah. You can simply write down the date on the bottom of the bottle and then you have a good guideline to go. So smart. So easy. Okay, so jars of exfoliant? Well, okay, so on this one, I want you to get rid of those gritty, grainy scrubs like this because they have an abrasive texture which actually tears at skin. You don't see it necessarily, but it's really not too good for your skin. Also, you think you're doing a good job yeah. because it's like a microdermabrasion. And the problem with these is that it's only dealing with the top superficial layers, so it's not addressing things like blackheads and breakouts. So that's the old school way. I want you to upgrade to a BHA exfoliant. This one from PaulusChoice.com is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid. And what this does is it's oil soluble so it can get down into the pore, unclog it. That's going to help with break, breakouts, blackheads. And 30 everything. bucks, not breaking Absolutely. the bank as well. Okay, everybody's got jars. Yes, but I want you to toss out jars. Never buy a jar again. Here's the problem. All those really good anti-aging ingredients like antioxidants, retinol, vitamin C, they break down in the presence of air and light. Okay. So jar, every time you open it up, you're exposing it, and if it's see-through right there, you're already having some exposure. So you're not even telling us to, to throw these away at just, some point? You're just replacing them with? Absolutely. This. You want to do happen. something with airtight Bam. packaging. So this is a really great example. It's opaque. It's definitely not letting that air in. It's a really great idea to do it that way. And last but not least, we do we hold on to our sunscreen so, too long? Yes, and people forget to check the expiration date. This is one of those products that they actually print one. For everything else, not so much. But with sunscreen, you can usually find it on the bottom of the bottle, or if it's in the tube packaging, it has a crimp along the top that you can find it. And I want you to upgrade to something that has anti-aging benefits to it too. So this one from CeraVe, you can get it at the drugstore. Very inexpensive, loaded with anti-aging ingredients. Excellent buy. When you buy something like this with anti-aging ingredients in it, uh, if you have sensitive skin, will that? It depends on what you're sensitive My to. My son and I both have sensitive skin. Yeah, so you want to make sure it's fragrance-free, okay. first of all. And the ingredients like retinol can be a little bit tricky for people. So yeah, you want to check the label, but this is a really great one. Get the best skin of your life. It starts right here. Yes. It actually starts with spring cleaning your makeup drawer because we've learned a lot. I've got to purge about half, okay, three quarters of my makeup. <laughs> there it is. Whoop, mer, the book. It will change your life and your skin. Thank and you so much. And come back and meet us at beautymythbusters.com. Don't you love how we matched our clothes today? We Desiree did good. has the lips that match it. <laughs> this is this is like a, a twinsy segment. We enjoy it. <laughs>